the performance space. Charlotte basically didn't stop talking as we headed down the headed down to the second floor. She was describing the play that they had put on last year, which was Oliver. She played Oliver even though she was well. As she said this, she pushed open the double doors to a huge auditorium. At the other end of the room was a stage. Charlotte started skipping toward the stage. Julian ran after her and then turned around the hallway down in the aisle. Come on, he said loudly, waiting for me to follow him, which I did. There were like hundreds of people in the audience that night, said Charlotte, and it took me a second to realize she was still talking about Oliver. I was so, so nervous. I had so many lines and I had all this song to sing. It was so, 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 so hard. Although she was talking to me, she really didn't look at me much. On opening night, my parents were all the way in back of the auditorium, like where, auditorium. Auditorium, like where Jack is right now. But when the lights are off, you can't really see it that far back. So I, I was like, where are my parents? Where are my parents? And then Mr. Ren Renick Resnick, Resnick? Mm -hmm. our theater arts teacher last year, he said, Charlotte, stop uh, being such a diva. And I was like, okay. And uh, then I stopped, spotted my parents, and I was totally fine. I didn't forget a single line. While she was talking, I noticed Julian staring at me out of the corner of his eye. This is something I see people do a lot with me. They think I don't know they are, they are staring, but I can't tell from the way their heads are tilted. I turned around to see where Jack had gone to. He had stayed in the back of the auditorium like he was bored. We put on a play even every year, said Charlotte. I don't think he's going to going to want to be in the school play, Charlotte, said Julian sarcastically. You can be in the play without actually being in the play, Charlotte answered, looking at me. You can do the lightning. You can paint the um, backdrop. Oh yeah, Whoopi, said Julian, throwing his finger in the air. The air. The air. But you don't uh, have to take theater as elective if you don't want to. Charlotte said, shocking. There's a dance or curse or band. There's leadership. Only Dirks uh, take a leadership. Julian interrupted. Julian, you're being so obnoxious. Said obnoxious. <laughs> obnoxious. Said uh, uh, Charlotte, which made Julian laugh. I'm, take a, I'm taking the science elective. I said, cool. Said Charlotte. Julian looked directly at me. This, the science elective is supposedly the hardest elective of all. He said, no offense, but if, if you've never ever been in a school before, why do you think you're suddenly going to be smart enough to take mm -hmm. science elective? I mean, have you ever even studied science before? Like real science, not like a kind of kind you do in kit. Yeah, I know this. He was homeschooled, Julian, said Charlotte. So teacher came to his school? Asked Julian, looking his puzzled. House? His house? His house? Asked Julian, looking puzzled. No, his mother taught him, answered Charlotte. Is she a teacher? Julian said, is your mother a teacher? Julian asked me. Charlotte asked me. Uh, Charlotte asked me. No, I said it. So she's not a real teacher, said Julian, as it, if that proves his point. That's what I mean. How can someone who's not a real teacher actually teach science? I'm sure you will do fine, said Shallow, looking at me. Let's just go to the library now, Jack called out, sounding really bored. 
Why is your hair so long? Julian said to me. He sounded like he was annoyed. I didn't know what to say, so I just shrugged. Can I ask you a question? He said. I shrugged again. Didn't he just ask me a question? What's the deal with your face? I mean, were you in a fire or something? Julian, that's so rude, said Charlotte. I'm not being rude, said Julian. I'm just asking a question. Mr. Toshman said we could ask a question if we wanted to. Not rude questions like that, said Charlotte. Besides, he was born like that. That's what Mr. Toshman said. You just want to listen it. I was so listening, said Julian. I just thought I just thought that maybe he was in a fire too. Jesus, Julian said Jack. Just shut up. You shut up, Julian yelled. Come on, August said Jack. Let's just go to the library uh, already. I walked towards Jack and followed him out the auditorium. He held the double doors open for me, and I. And as I passed by, he looked at me right in the face, kind of dare me to look back at him, which I did. Then I actually smiled. I don't know, sometimes when I have, have the feeling I'm almost crying, it can turn into almost laughing feeling, feeling. Laughing feeling. And that must have been the feeling I was having there because I smiled, although like I was going Almost to, like I. I was going to giggle, and the thing is because of the way my face is, people who don't know me very well don't, don't always get at that I'm smiling. My mouth doesn't go up at the corners the way other people's mouths do. I just go straight across my face, but someone Somehow Jack will got that I have smiled at him, and he smiled back. Julian's a jerk, he whispered before Julian and Charlotte reached us. But dude, you are gonna have to talk, he said this seriously, like he was trying to help me. I nodded as Julian and Charlotte caught up to us. We were all quiet for a second, all of us just kind of nodding, looking at the floor. Then I looked up at Julian. The right is supposedly, by the way, I said. What are you talking about? You said supposedly before, I said. I didn't. Uh, yes, yeah, you did. Charlotte nodded. You said the science uh, electric is, is supposedly really hard. I heard you. I absolutely did not, he insisted. Whatever, said Jack. Let's just go. Yeah, let's just go, agreed Charlotte, following Jack down the stairs to the next floor. I started to, to follow her, but Julian caught right in front of me, which actually made me stumble backward. Oops, sorry about that, said Julian, but I could tell from the way he looked at me that he wasn't really sorry at all.